So hey, friends, this is uh, me and my son, Bear. Howdy. And uh, he's a senior this year, and we've been taking this journey of sonship really since he was 12 years old. So we're, we're about six years into it. And we've just come to um, a, another situation that's really consistent with the way that we have been practicing sonship over the years. We get to a place where we don't actually have the provision, we don't know the plan, and uh, it's a great time to ask God to step in. So where we are is looking at colleges and, you know, I look at my bank account like many people would and just go, okay, all right, this is, we may as well be trying to walk on water here. Um, and it can cause a lot of chaos, you know, you can imagine what the conversations are like with your wife and your hopes and your dreams and your desires and the need for God to come in and intervene. And so anyway, I just wanted to just let you know that like this is the place this is the place when you don't know what to do and actually if things feel impossible that I'm tempted to kind of take things into my own hands or I um, cast all my anxieties on God and I ask him to be our father so this, this is just a perfect situation we're about to after visiting this campus going to a chapel um, talking with a lot of people now is the, the time where we just continue to pray and invite God to take over and to reveal to us what he wants us to do. So we'll just kind of turn the camera this way and we'll just, Bear and I are just pray that God would enter into the situation. And we just want to invite you into what we do as often as we can. And we do it together because we're both on this journey. Okay. All right. So Jesus, thank you uh, for giving us access to the father. Jesus, we ask for faith like yours. Uh, to walk as sons everything that you needed was always there at the time that you needed it And we pray that you would teach us Jesus to walk in that same spirit of sonship that made you so fearless and powerful That equipped you fully for the job that you had uh, And that, that God consecrated you and released you into at the age of 30 so that you could so powerfully do in those three years Exactly what you were made to do. So we ask you God the one who holds all resources in your hands, that you would father us and that you would bring us to an understanding of your perfect will. Where would you have Bear go next year? What would you have him do? Uh, we pray that you would open up uh, the resources of heaven and that you would make it possible, Lord. We pray that you would continue to father Bear through people, through things. We thank you for all the discussions that we had for the wisdom that you've given us, for the opportunities to visit these places. But now, Lord, it just feels like we've kind of come to the end of, of, uh, of our data collection right now. Maybe there's more, so lead us in that. But God, we ask that you would be our Father, that you would protect us from making poor decisions. We invite your perfect provision, and we invite you to reveal to us your plan for us, Lord. The, this, all this is in your hands, and we just confess, apart from you, this is an impossibility. Uh, but we love you, we bless you, and we hold tightly uh, in faith to the knowledge that you are um, you're good and that your heart for us is good and you have good plans for us that you'll carry on to completion. So I just want to thank you that Bear and I get to experience your goodness and your provision and your plan perfectly in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Say hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks.